Love a two hour delay at this time. So guys, as you just saw, my flight was two hours too late. It's not a big surprise to me because you know EasyJet always does stuff like that. They always delay flights. So I was sort of expecting that. But you know, the annoying thing is that I actually woke up at 5.45 just to make it to my flight and I could have slept until like seven. Also, you know, when you don't get enough of sleep at night and then you wake up early in the morning and you feel like you're good, you have like enough energy to last you throughout the day and then two hours later, you just feel very tired and crushed and dead. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. At the same time, I'm pretty happy my flight was delayed because I had plenty of time to get ready, to take a nice shower, to have my breakfast, to drink coffee without rushing myself. That was nice. I even have time to do my hair, so I'm just gonna straighten it. Nothing fancy, you know. I really can't be bothered, but at the same time, I want to look more or less decent when I go there. So I'm arriving to Nice airport at around 10, 10.45? No, I think 11.45. And I think I'm gonna take a train to get to Monaco. I've never done that before. We usually always take taxis or we just usually rent a car. But today I'm traveling alone and I really want to be like a real tourist and I just want to take a train and see people and not like spend the whole time on my own. I'm not sure how long it will take me to get there. I'm gonna set a timer. Usually by car it's about 40 minutes because it's quite far and this time I'm not sure if I have to take a train to get to Nice and then from Nice another train to get to Monaco. I'm really not sure how that works but I'll have to figure it out. I hope it's not really complicated otherwise I will <laughs> take a taxi because I don't have much time there to spend. I'm also glad I took the latest flight back home so I'm flying back home at 9 45 p.m. I think I'm gonna have to leave at like 6 30 but again depending on what transport I'll be using so we'll see. I have really not planned it yet. I wanted to take a helicopter because it only takes like five minutes and it's not that expensive it's about the same price as the taxi a little bit more expensive but there were no available tickets so that's unfortunate. So guys, I think this is what I'm gonna wear. So I have this um, pink jacket with a cute little sweater. Here's everything I need to check out. taking an Uber but I'm not sure yet but I'm here and that's awesome <laughs> so guys I've decided to take an Uber because it is just so much easier I was gonna take a train but it's not gonna happen because of the virus thing and I'm just a little bit scared to take any public transportation right now so I'm gonna get an Uber and get there it is not that expensive so it's fine Bonjour. I'm finally in the car 12.35 so that's a promising start of the day but I think that's another 30 minute drive to Monaco and the funny thing is that Cartier will be closed from 1 to 3 p.m. which is awesome that's exactly the time I'm coming there I think it's gonna be like 1 p.m. so we'll see maybe I'll go have some lunch because I'm pretty hungry already 
but otherwise I'm super excited. It's so nice in here. The weather is so beautiful compared to Geneva and it is sunny and I think I should have taken some sunglasses but I think I'll be alright. So yeah. Why am I so blue? Finally made it here. It is almost 1 p.m. But I'm not even going to bother to go into Cartier because there is no point. I think they'll be closed by the time I get there. But it's so nice in here and it's really, really warm. Oh my god. I'm so pretty. Look. That is so pretty. is Dior yeah you probably can't see it now but it's there so I want to go in there but I wonder if they have lunch break I'll probably start with the one of the centers they have because I want to check out some Chanel beauty as well as Dior beauty because I'm looking for that the limited edition compact powder the one with the bleak yes so I think I'm gonna start there I'll have lunch and then I'll get back in here where all the stores are. There's Saint Laurent and Fred and Bulgari and Prada and Celine. So I really want to go to Bottega Veneta and check out the like mini dumpling pouch because I think they're so cute. And then I need to go to Cartier and Dior and Chanel. It starts with a look. because they have 50% off but I'm going to Sephora right now I want to see if they have the compact I'm looking for and I'm also looking for some liquid eyeshadows from Chanel so I'm gonna be checking that as well that's the one I have but oh yeah here is Chanel and okay I think that's mm, yeah that's the new liquid eyeshadows so I need to get a couple of those. What's this? I don't know. Oh, this is nice. Now I need to find some Dior. But it is nowhere to be found. Okay. So there is Dior perfume but where is the actual makeup oh yes it's right here oh I hope they have that cushion something thingy powdery thingy with the oblique on top I need to call someone and ask so I'm gonna get some club sandwich because it's so good in here and I'll also get some coke. Good news, they had the liquid eyeshadows. Bad news, they didn't have the cushion powder thingy. So I think I'm gonna check it directly in the work. Look how pretty this Louis Vuitton window is. So nice, full of flowers. Okay, but I'm going to... Chanel which is right over there I'm not sure if I'm able to film in there I think you can't film in there but I'll try a little bit <laughs>
guys life update I went to Chanel they didn't have the shoes I was looking for then I was trying to get to Louis Vuitton and it closed right in front of me because they had some works in the store and um, yeah they just closed a bit earlier today and then I went to Dior hoping that they would have at least one bag that I'm looking for and guess what no they're sold out um, I checked on the website last night and they had one but apparently it was sold yesterday so basically I only came to exchange my bracelet <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Geneva with nothing. I thought I could go to Nice and just buy it from there, but I checked on the website and nothing was available. guys it's the next day last night was such a fail me going to monaco i really just exchanged my bracelet then i checked out bottega veneta and the color of the bag that i wanted it was the only color that was not available that was a lot of fun and i got really really tired i had nothing to do because there was nothing i could do so i've decided to go to nice and i've spent another hour in there i just walked around the city i checked out louis vuitton and Chanel they also didn't have anything Dior is just not available in Nice they don't have a boutique there for some reason so came back home very tired a little bit mad because I was so tired but it was still a good trip because I still managed to exchange my bracelet which is good Today we've arrived to Courchevel. It's pretty late. We overslept a little bit because as I arrived late, we went to bed late. We're not sure if we'll be able to ski, but that's really unfortunate because it really takes such a long time to get here. On the other hand, they have two Dior bags that I was interested in. I reserved them, so I can't wait to go and check them out tonight. But we'll do that a little bit later. We'll try to ski a little bit first, then we'll have dinner for sure because we're starving and then I'll go to Dior <laughs> to see the bags and finally decide whether or not I want them yeah that's the plan I guess I'll talk to you a little bit later I'm still in the car we're trying to figure out how to charge the car in the parking we're not sure how it works they need some um, card which we don't have so yeah <laughs> Whoa! 
Hey